know, this a concept we talked about where it needs to be your lifestyle runs mm. your business as opposed to your business running your lifestyle. You need to have a business there to support what you do. Yeah. But the business can't be determining what you do because then it's it defeats it's, the whole purpose. Yeah. 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 So I like what you said um, on the weekend about different styles of businesses and there's a business for profit and a business for not for profit. And I hadn't heard of the phrase of the business for purpose. And I was like, oh, yeah, because, it's cool, you know, it? uh, yeah, it is, it's a nice way to think about it. Obviously, like, you need to make money at the end of the day. You don't want to work for, like, pittance. Mm. But you don't need a lot of You don't need a lot of money either, you know. No, and <laughs> you don't need a lot of stuff, really. <laughs> and to be fair, like we talked about, if you have a business that is a for-purpose organisation as opposed yeah. to a for-profit organisation, it almost always means that you will be more for profit than you would be if yeah. you were chasing the profit. Yes. Yeah. It's um yeah. if you're if you're trying to have a purpose, you're delivering value to people, then yeah. it's gonna look after itself, the bottom line anyway. Yeah. Look right, you're gonna create your systems and processes around that, which is all about looking after your clients. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah.